Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions with the unboxing of the GameSir G4S phone gaming controller. The whole point of this device is to give you a fully fledged controller to allow you to play games on your mobile device. To be completely honest, I had never heard of GameSir until they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to review one of our products? And I happily obliged. So here we are with the unboxing. Now, as this company is relatively unknown, before I started to take it out of the box, I was expecting it to feel cheap, plasticky, just an off product, but it was far from that. You take it out of the box, the build quality feels great, it's got a decent weight to it, one that's not too lightweight and not too heavy, giving that perfect balance between usability and just overall product design. I know it's not about what the controller feels like and about how it handles, but don't worry, a review will be coming in a few weeks to go over just this, but for now this is just the unboxing. Looking at this controller from a design point of view, it is a hybrid between the PlayStation controller and the Xbox controller. On the front there are two thumbsticks, a set of directional arrows, a center button that looks to be a home button, on the left there is a select button, and on the right a start button. This also features letter buttons, more specifically A, B, Y and X. And these actually light up the same colours as the Xbox controller. Now I'm not saying anything or pointing any fingers, but that is very, very similar. If we look at the centre of the controller, there is an arm that lifts up to eventually hold a phone. So I've come across a few devices like this that hold your phone in one way or another. And I can safely say it's one of, if not the most, secure phone holders that there are. By this I mean that you can move the controller around with the phone in there and you can be damn sure that the phone isn't going to go anywhere. When you lift up the arm that holds the phone in place, underneath that there will be two buttons, one of which being a turbo button and the other one a clear button. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what this turbo button does. Also when you lift this arm up you may notice that there is a USB dongle hidden inside of the controller that can now be removed. This is used to connect the controller to your PC. On the back of the controller we have L1, L2, R1, R2. There is also a USB connection that can be seen. This will be used to charge the controller and a USB cable does actually come in the box as standard to allow you to do this. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with the unboxing of the GameSir G4S phone gamepad. A full review will be out in a few weeks so stay tuned and stay subscribed for that one. Thanks for watching.